hope you are doing well and i hope you went through my biostatistics lecture series and enjoyed it thoroughly so today i am focusing on the last year questions which came in upsc 2013 to 2021 so biostatistics is a very important part if you are willing to take zoology as an optional subject except 2013 in each and every year we had at least one biostatistics question sometime we had more than one so i was requested by many of you to provide notes actually i have compiled all biostatistics notes in a very crisp manner which is just like a handbook see when thousands of students are writing the same thing especially when the questions are broad it is mandatory to do something different you have to make your answer very much attractive because majority of them are writing the correct answer so how can some are getting good marks and some are not so biostatistics is a subdivision of zoology paper which should be very attractive otherwise it ends up very boring right now i have split the full biostatistics division in some short parts so the first part is what is biostatistics so in 2017 we had a question in upsc uh, that is what is meant by biostatistics so here is the answer which i have compiled in my pdf notes Next is designing of experiments. So since 2013 we don't have any question about designing of experiments or DOE but this topic is also very important. You may expect a question from it. In my YouTube you will get this lecture. So link is in the description box and answer is well compiled in the PDF form in my notes. next is null and alternative hypothesis so again since 2013 we don't have any question in this topic but you know question may come nobody knows when since it is mentioned in the syllabus so in my youtube you will get this lecture link is in the description box and answer is well compiled in my pdf notes like that next is correlation so which is very very important in 2021 we had a question that define correlation explain its types and methods of computing coefficient of correlation in 2017 also we had a question that is explain the role of correlation in data analysis in 2016 also again we had a question that what is correlation explain its various types and methods of calculating correlation analysis in 2014 we had a question that give an account on correlation analysis its application and significance so you can understand the importance of this topic right well in my youtube you will get this lecture link is in the description box and answer is very well compiled in the pdf notes next is regression so in 2017 the question came from this topic that explain the role of regression in data analysis so in my youtube again you will get the lecture link is in the description box and answer is well compiled in the pdf notes next is least square method so again since 2013 we don't have any question in this topic but if you want to be risk free you can go through my lecture in youtube and link is in the description box and the answer is well compiled in the pdf form next topic is central tendency which is very important i think so in 2016 we had a question describe the measures of central tendency what is their use in biology well in my youtube you will get this lecture link is in the description box and answer is well compiled in the pdf form like this 
Next topic is measures of dispersion. So in 2016, we had a question. Describe the measures of dispersion. What is their use in biology? Well, in my YouTube, you will get the lecture. Link is in the description box. Answer is well compiled in my PDF notes. Next is chi-square test. Again, a very important topic. In 2018, we had a question, what is chi-square test? Give a detailed account of the computation of chi-square for tests of independence, homogeneity and goodness of fit using biological data. So, I have made the video regarding the first part of the question and the second part that is its test for independence, homogeneity and goodness of fit. This is not yet made for my YouTube lecture but it is uh, well described in the notes in the PDF form. So link is in the description box. And next is students t-test. So since 2013 we don't have any question in this topic but it is not possible to say that this topic is not important as you know UPSC. So in my channel you will get this lecture link is in the description box and answer is very well compiled in the PDF form. Next topic is F test and one way ANOVA. So ANOVA is very important in 2020 we had a question describe the difference between F test and T test. In 2014, we had again a question give an account of analysis of variance and mention its significance. So in my YouTube, you will get this lecture. Link is in the description box and answer is well compiled in the PDF form. Next topic is one way versus two way ANOVA. In 2019, we had a question, what is ANOVA? Differentiate between one-way and two-way ANOVA. Comment on its application in biostatistics. In 2017, we had a question explain the role of ANOVA in data analysis. In 2015, we had a question differentiate between one-way and two-way ANOVA. Comment on its application in biostatistics. So this is also a very important topic in my YouTube. You will get the lecture link is in the description box and answer is well compiled in the PDF form. So if you want to collect the handbook for UPSC or IFS biostatistics, you can get the PDF online which costs for only 149. So if you, you can WhatsApp me at uh, 9019765145. So what will you find in my PDF? So you will get the ready-made notes of each topic and previous year's questions and solution that is from 2013 to 2021. And one more thing is here to mention uh, that all of you are not from English medium background. So I have kept the language very easy so that all of you can grasp it without any difficulty. The language is very simple and easy indeed. So wish you all the best for your exam. Thank you.